Hey gang, welcome back. Effie review problem, statics. Let's go see if we can do this, okay? We've got two rollers in a trough, kind of an angled trough. The two 100 Newton rollers rest in the trough as shown. What is the reaction force at point B right there as this roller presses on that wall? There are your choices. Which one are you gonna pick? All right, press pause. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. All right, did you solve it? All right, which one did you get? Let's see if I can do it here, okay? I think what I have to do is draw a free body diagram of this guy. You know what, I think I'll just draw it right there where it sits, okay? I think I'll draw it right where it sits. I think I'll just do this. Whoa, I think I'll drop my pen. Okay, this roller has a weight of 100 Newtons, okay? Now this roller has a weight also, but he is not pressing on this. This is pressing on him, right? This guy is gonna have a normal force along this line, okay? And a normal force that's perpendicular to this plane over here, like that. Now, here's what I know, right? If that's 30, then I know that this right here is 30, yeah? Let's see, what about this guy? Let me just drop some lines down here and put some lines over here. Lines are free. You can draw them all you want. No problem. If that's 60, then that's 30, right? If that's 30, then that's 60. If that's 60, then that's, that's 30 also, isn't it? Look at that. Okay. So now that I have this, you know, this guy right here, uh, this is going to be, it's a symmetric system, isn't it? Both of those normal forces are pushing at the exact same angle. So if I call this in, I can call this in as well. They're going to be the same because they're pressing at the exact same angle on the same body. So this guy down here is in sine of 30. This guy in sine of 30. Okay. So what? The sum of the forces and the y equals zero equals uphill, up stuff equals the down stuff, right? So up stuff, I've got in sine 30, a component there and a component there. How about this? Two in sine of 30, okay? That's both those components there going uphill. And then who's going downhill? The, the weight, 100, okay? Move the 100 to the other side, divide it by two. That's 50 divided by the sine of 30 equals n. I happen to know that the sine of 30 is the same as the cosine of 60, which is a half. And when you divide by a half, it's the same as multiplying by two. So n equals 100 Newtons. Hey, we just did that. No calculator, no nothing. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> Let's do another one. 